hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you how i made this dense soft yummy red velvet cake if you are a baker and you bake this cake your customer is going to ask for more i will show you one secret that you will use to get a very succulent red velvet cake so without wasting much of your time let me introduce you to the ingredients i have my flour sugar vegetable oil buttermilk egg white vinegar baking soda cocoa powder red food color i'm using excellent red food color then i'm using two flavor strawberry and vanilla cream vanilla then i have my coffee this coffee is a game changer in this red velvet cake then salt so i'm going to be dropping all the measurements and the ingredients in my description box so firstly i'm going to sieve all my dry ingredients together except sugar Like I said, I'm going to drop all the measurements in my description box and I'm going to be putting it on the screen also. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down below. So I'll be adding in my red food color i'll mix that together and keep it aside so let's get into the next process here i'll add in my vegetable oil sugar then i'll mix that together Then I'll add in my egg. I'm going to whisk this very well. I'll add in the buttermilk. So add in the white vinegar. You can make your own homemade buttermilk by one cup of milk you add one tablespoon of white vinegar or lemon juice so here i'll be adding in the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients So I'll mix that together. It's now time to add our game changer, which is the coffee. I add in half cup of water with half 
sachet of the coffee. I didn't use the whole coffee, half sachet of the coffee. And that is hot water. So I'll add it in and put in my two flavors, which is the pure strawberry and the cream vanilla flavor. The cup I used to measure my oil is the same cup I used to measure this hot water. That is why you can see oil in the water. So it's just pure hot water, nothing else. So I'll mix that together until everything is incorporated very well. You can see the texture. You see the color, very nice. I'll I already lined my pan with vegetable oil and dust it with some flour. This is two six inches pan. If you have watched to this extent and you have not hit the like button, please hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe. So it's ready to go into the oven. And after 40 to 45 minutes, our cake is out of the oven. This cake is so soft, so dense. You are going to see because you are going to cut it through for you to see the inside of this cake. You can see how red this cake come out very beautiful very soft so we are going to be covering this cake with whipped cream and here we are done with the cake I'm going to be measuring out powdered whipped cream, 200 gram of powdered whipped cream. Then I'll add in, this is normal room temperature, it's not cold, nothing, I didn't even put it inside the fridge. Normal room temperature. So 200 gram to half cup of water, half cup of normal room temperature water. So I'm going to whisk that together until I get a stiff pick whipped cream this whipped cream is so stable you don't need to put it in freezer before you can work with it very easy to make and so stable I'm going to be I'm going to be adding in drop of flavor And here I'm done whipping this take me three to four minutes to do so I am done it's time for us to cover the cake I just want to show you guys how this whipped cream is stable that is why I'm covering this cake just to do the experiment for you guys <laughs> please like share and comment down below thank you all for your support thank you for always being there and thank you for always clicking on my video whenever it pops up i never take any for granted please keep supporting your girl by liking sharing commenting and subscribing thank you you can see very easy to work with stable so just to give it 
some beauty i'm going to use strawberry dripping i'm going to be doing a strawberry dripping on the cake because this process is just to show you how stable this whipped cream can be You don't have to use ice block, you don't have to use ice cold water to make your whipped cream. You can just use your normal temperature water and you'll get it. Here we are done with the covering. Cut it through. Can you see how soft this cake is? Thank you all so much for watching. See you all in my next one. Bye.